And April is the start of sea turtle nesting season along Bay Area beaches. And this morning, our very own double A, Anthony Allred, went to pass a grill in Pinellas County to show us what we need to do when it comes to protecting these precious creatures. From now until the end of October, it's turtle nesting season. So in the meantime, I have a lot of things that people should look out for on the beach. And to help me help you, I have my friend Bruno here to tell me some of the things that people should be looking out for. Well, first thing we got to look out for is the lighting on the beach. Make sure if you live near a beach, turn your lights off. Second thing we got to look out for is leave your cell phones home. Don't take any flash pictures of sea turtles on the beach. Third thing we got to look out for is the square area. If you see a square area like this, please don't go and disturb it because there's a turtle nest in there. And if you hit that nest with your beach umbrella, you're going to destroy the whole nest. What kind of turtles come ashore here? Most of the time, they're what we call loggerheads. These are the turtles that frequent Pinellas County beaches more so than any other species of turtle. What are some of the things that you'll, you guys will be out there well, doing looking for them? What we have is 125 volunteers. There's different segments of what we do. The first segment would be finding the nest. The second segment would be having people watch the nest as they hatch out so that the turtles don't go in the wrong direction. What's the number one thing people can do as they're observing these turtles? Because, I mean, they look nice, they look cute, they look like you want to touch well, them. First of all, if you see a mother turtle, don't go near it because you're going to scare her back into the water. If you scare her back into the water, she's going to lay her eggs in the water and she's not going to lay them on the beach. Second thing you can do for us is call. You can get in touch with FWC. They will get in touch with the turtle group that's located in the area. As a matter of fact, other than the Big Ben area, every single square foot of beach in Florida is checked by turtle people every morning. All right, cool. Hey, these are just some uh, tips, and you know this is going to last until Halloween, so we've got a long time that we're going to be sharing the beach with these little creatures. On St. Pete Beach, Anthony Allred, News Channel 8.